Good morning, Pipers. Callan Doll on the pipe patio. And as you can see, it's kind of starting to take a little better shape. Got some cucumbers starting to run up the, the wire tower there. Some fern. And, uh, I decided to add a little hibiscus for color. Yesterday at Rascal had four big old blooms on it, and I can see today it's only got one. But that's a tricolor. It's got a, I think, pink and red and yellow in the hibiscus. So we'll see what they can do. A little, little variegated ginger and some red striped bananas, and the bananas in the back starting to come along. Of course, the uh, asparagus fern always does real well. And, um, uh, in the other tubes, I've got some of the climbing spinach, and it's really starting to climb. So we're not completely there yet. i got a few more things I'm going to add, but it's starting to take shape. We're going to do a little general cleanup next weekend, get all these leaves out of here and clean everything up. See if we can get the pipe patio back into shape. I'm smoking a little classic burley cake. Hearth and home today. Having a little lemonade. You know, I kind of found out by accident about this lemonade. Uh, I, I, I went to it to get off caffeine. I was drinking the crystal light tea because of kidney stones. I've had two and, uh, I can tell you they're not they're not pleasurable. Even though mine are the type that I have are are milder than most. Even and saying that doesn't mean it ain't painful. It, it's painful, but mine aren't jagged. So anyway, kind of said, so well, I'll stop uh, drinking any of the uh, caffeinated drinks, and I'll just go to lemonade. Well, and kind of by accident one day found on the internet that lemons actually have uh, in two ingredients, I think it's two, maybe just one, uh, that will actively stop the formation of the two most common type of kidney stones. So uh, I do that. I drink that now just about exclusively to, for the benefit of the anti-kidney stone effect. And here recently I went to adding a little uh, tart cherry juice in it, uh, cherry juice concentrate. Uh, if you've never read about it, take a look on the internet a little bit. It uh, Tart cherry juice has the most concentrated amount of natural anti-inflammatory uh, that you can find in any food. So, uh, you know, if you have a little arthritis or if you just do got a little ache and pain and and actually, you know, they, they kind of tie a lot of diseases to inflammation. So it, it's good for anybody to take. But uh, but anybody with arthritis or uh, any kind of pain like that, I, uh, I've developed a bunion on my left foot. And uh, it, it really kind of keeps it in check, too. So uh, it works for me. So, you know, if you're interested, take a look at that, too. Uh, tart cherry juice concentrate. But like I said, I'm just sitting out this morning having a... bowl of classic burly cake smoking in my Savinelli autograph and uh, I really like this pipe. I got to where I really like pipes that have wide bowls and uh, just really enjoy it. It's got a little, it's rusticated except it's got this little grain area on the side. Uh, re really good, really good pipe. Bought it second hand off of eBay and really, really enjoy it. But I uh, just got in from Dallas. I spent all last week in Dallas, Texas. Uh, it was my first trip there. I, uh company I work for, our corporate offices are in Dallas. And I went over for a little training. And our offices is located in uptown Dallas. And, uh, man, I'm going to tell you, it was really impressive. Uh, that whole area is very, very impressive. It's... I mean, it's just nice building, and then next door to it, a nice restaurant, and then a 1920s refurbished hotel. I stayed in the Warwick there hotel, 
in Dallas. It was really, really nice. This one was built in 1929. I think Warwick had come in and bought it a few years back. They redid the hotel. But, you know, it's just got that old 20s charm about it. Uh, really, really nice facility. And uh, kind of got to learn a little bit more about my company. Uh, I work for Austin in Industrial. And uh, we're a part of Austin Industries, and there's two other companies. There's uh, Austin Commercial and Austin Bridge and Road. But they took us around that skyline of, of uh, Dallas, and they showed us some of the buildings that the commercial had built there. Uh, one of them was a 72-story building that they had built, and... The other one that I found real impressive was uh, they had built uh, the uh, Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas. And they were showing us, I think, you know, it looked like five, six-story building, maybe a little taller. And they said that two-thirds of the building is on the ground, I guess, you know, for security reasons. But uh, uh, it, it was really impressive, really, really nice. We ended up eating at a place called, an Italian place called Campisi's one night downtown Dallas. Very, very nice. So, uh, you know, I came away with a, a real nice impression. Uh, matter of fact, it's the nicest area I've ever been to. And it was a nice mixture of, of bars and uh, restaurants and offices and hotels and just all nice and laid out nice and big wide streets and, uh, you know, condominiums, uh, just real nice wrought iron fences and uh, stone fronts and stuff. Uh, just, just was really, really, really nice, really impressed with it. So, uh, but I'm glad to be back home. You know, during the whole trip, uh, they were having some really tough weather there with all the rain and all the flooding. And I got some rain while we were there, but we didn't get any flooding in that area. And I ended up driving it because on the way back, I stopped in Shreveport and uh, seen some clients there. And, uh, I didn't see any flooding along the way off the interstate or anything. So, I guess it was just in areas just, I know not too far north and south of Dallas, they were having some areas that had caught a lot of flooding. So, but anyway, just thought I'd come and do a little catch up and show you the progress of the pipe patio. And, uh, and, you know, next week or next time I do another video, I'll have some more updates. I'm going to add some more things to it. So uh, until next time, guys, everybody just get your favorite blend. Grab you one of your favorite pipes and, uh, you know, load it up and enjoy that smoke.